Those appeal processes are in the law. And uh, we believe, despite the observations we may have made about particular cases and, and judgments, we still believe that uh, the law should, uh, should, uh, should, should take its course. Mr. Chairman, our instructions from our party are to say that we find it completely inappropriate for participants in an election to sit and discuss on the matter of who gets the tender in an election where, in our case, President Uhuru Kenyatta is a party. In matters procurement, you know, it would actually like inviting um, people who are interested in doing something or in participating in a tender to try and discuss who among them gets a tender. Actually, this is against the law. So, according to us, Mr. Chairman, with tremendous respect to the position that has been taken by the other participants, we cannot sit here and discuss who is given a tender to print a ballot paper where President Kenyatta, our party leader, is a candidate. That amounts to conflict of interest. Let me finish. We can, because if we do parliamentary kind of business here, we will not finish. I'm about to finish. Let me finish, uh, Mr. Kuru. Court chairman, protect yeah. me from uh, so, so, the presidential now, we, candidate of the yeah, third way. Let around. me say we are confining ourselves. It's a consultative forum, uh, so let's. Uh, and those are our views. Yes. Yeah. Actually, we should not be because our understanding of the judgment it said that the award of the tender to print ballot paper for the presidency has been nullified. So what are we consulting about? We are consulting about that. Our view, respectively, is that it amounts to conflict of interest for parties who are in that election to get involved. Um, our own view is that that's a matter of the procuring entity and the general public. That is our view. Second, Mr. Chairman, is to say we do not have capacity as a party. Uh, based again on our assumption that the whole issue is about the printing of the presidential ballot paper. We do not have any capacity. We have no interest to actually determine who gets the award or how it is given. That is not our job. Our job is through politics. In fact, we are in protest, Mr. Chairman, because we've been recalled from the field, from looking for votes for our party, to discuss the tender. Our view is the court judgment, those parties who want to appeal, that's their democratic right, they can appeal. But in terms of who is awarded the tender to print the presidential ballot paper, we actually don't care. And it's surprising that the people who brought even this case are neither here in person, neither are they here by agents. Maybe they have come. But having said that, Mr. Chairman, as I finish, so that my colleagues can also add one sentence each, our own view is that this would amount to conflict of interest. This tender could as well, between the procuring entity and the, the, those who are interested, the, the tender can go to anybody. Even NASA can be given the printing tender to print as we are ready for election. The, other, the only condition we have is that we cannot entertain a discussion that may alter the election date, even for an hour. Otherwise, Mr. Chairman, that's our position. Uh, what we are engaging in could be prejudicial, actually, to this process. That's my reading of the public procurement and, um, and the public disposal and, uh, act. That is my understanding of chapter six on conflict of interest, in particular, article 73 and 75 of the Constitution. Uh, thank you. Gentlemen, just uh, may I think if you allow me, 
uh, one, you have made it very clear in your opening remarks that the commission is ready and committed that the, on the 8th of August, Kenyans will go to the polls. That's, that's, that's the main reason why we are here. Just to get that confirmation. To uh, Mr. Chairman, our candidate is the head of state, so you will not see him here. And we are not proxies. We are here and we sit on positions which are stipulated in the Constitution. So we are not proxies and we are not intend to be proxies. We represent our, our party, our party leader, our candidate. We are leaders uh, of, of, of parliament and uh, the Secretary General. So I think you need to uh, go back on your earlier statement that uh, there are times you will. I mean, there are candidates who have a lot of time. Our candidate doesn't have time. He's the head of state. So as I think. Uh, please, please confine yourself to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because yes, uh, you, yeah. you, know, you, but you, you know, he said uh, we are proxies. We are proxies. We are here legitimate. Uh, we are agents. And we are here legitimately. You know, proxy is not a very good term. Chair, I just want you to take you through two things. One, and you said it uh, uh, over the weekend, mm -hmm. that we need to look at uh, where is the place for public participation in the current existing laws in the PFM Act and in the Public Procurement and Asset Disposal Act of 2003, and further, further amended uh, a number of times. And thirdly and lastly, I think you are the commission in this situation is a referee. And within the reading of Article 249 of the Constitution, this commission or any other commission cannot be directed by anybody or by any institution. That is the Constitution. So I don't think whether we will can, we can, by law, involve ourselves in the procurement process of ballot paper. From our position as a party and representing our candidate, Mr. Chairman, we have absolutely no interest on who prints ballot papers. It's, we have no history of even ourselves printing ballot papers as a party and as individuals. So we have no business. Our business is to you to assure us, and I think you have done it, that on the, 7th, on the 8th of August 2017, at 6 a.m. when the polls will open, there will be presidential ballot papers for our supporters to mark in favor of our candidate. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Chair, just one small remaining point. And as I, as, uh, as uh, Honorable Kindiki and Duali have said, I am here as a legitimate agent of the president and uh, also contributed to this discussion. We, have, we appreciate the commission. We thank you for making the first comment because that was really important for us that the elections will be on 8th of August. That, that, that point, the chairman, we are not making it in passing. Uh, we recognize that the Constitution in Article 101 says so, but also recognize that it's an important assurance considering the number of cases our competitors have put around the court, not just the one it has been concluded, but the ones which have been reported that they have up upcoming. We just want that assurance and the, everybody in the country to be sure, and including ourselves, that on 8th of August, we will have the elections. Number two, uh, it, it needs to be underscored without any fear of contradiction that we will not be party to discussion on the award of tender for printing presidential ballot papers. We do not mind our competitors and our friends who are here if they want to engage in that discussion. We just want to assure you that when the discussion drifts or any discussion that will involve a word of tenders will ensue, we will ask you to let us know so that we excuse ourselves. Because it is our firm belief, reading the Constitution, reading the Acts of uh, Parliament, that 
there can be no other definition of conflict of interest other than where presidential candidates will be sitting to preside over who is going to uh, deal with uh, uh, ballot papers. Lastly, just want to say for avoidance of doubt also that should our competitors engage either in the process or mechanism or the ultimate decision as to who will print those ballot papers, we want to assure you that we will have no objection. What we, our objection will be that those ballot papers must be delivered in time for the elections and that when those ballot papers have been delivered, we want to ensure you that we will participate uh, in that election. Lastly, uh, I just want to say <clears throat> that uh, um, the president or our presidential candidate uh, respects the IEBC. We believe that you have the competence or ought to have the competence to independently, as per the constitution and your mandate, carry out processes that will deal with procurement of materials uh, that will aid in the elections itself. For us, the process and the, and the materials itself must be undertaken independently uh, by IEBC, and we don't, don't intend to interfere with that independence. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, you want uh, to go uh, without, without uh, repeating what the yes, others have uh, said? I, I yes. will repeat. I think yes. we just want to make your life easy. Yes. Um, if the NASA team or, well, with all due respect to Mr. Ekuro, uh, we apologize that we are not in the rank of uh, presidential candidates, but we've been allowed to talk. So, uh, yes, yeah, yeah we, we, no, we are not in that rank, so we humbly uh, request that you allow us also to, to be heard. Um, we want to make your life easy. Um, if NASA or the other presidential candidates want to get involved in uh, the procurement process, it's up to them. We are out of that game. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, there was some late comers. Uh, you, uh, let, let me just, uh, you can introduce uh, yourselves. Uh, Senator Orengo and your team. My, my name is James Orengo. I am here as a representative and an agent of the NASA presidential candidate. I'll allow my colleagues who, with whom we have come to also introduce themselves. My name is Senator Mudama. I'm the co-chair of NASA coalition and I'm here to represent the presidential candidate of NASA coalition in this discussion. My name is Honorable Junet Mohamed. I'm here to represent the NASA presidential candidate. I'm Willis Otieno, representing the NASA presidential candidate. All right, thank you. We may proceed in the remarks. Thank you, Chairman. I am going to be very brief. As I said, my name is Pete Ondeng, and uh, I'm not a presidential candidate, but I will be one one day. <laughs> so I, I'm here representing Joe Nyaga. So I just uh, want to say thank you, first of all, for convening this meeting. But secondly, that we don't envy your position, because we're sitting here as leaders there are people here, very sharp legal minds, that are beginning to argue in front of the cameras a bit of uh, grandstanding already, and us and them, and who's right and who's wrong, and almost extending the, the court cases into this domain also to see who's got the, the upper hand. Chair, we are one month away, or a little bit less than a month, to the election. The people in this country who are looking at what is happening are afraid. There is a rising tension, and it's justified, because we have been in this place before. And people are looking at the tension that is rising, and the fear 
of something going wrong in this country. And I, I have not done an opinion poll, but if you walk around and ask people, I think you'll probably get a very high percentage of people who will say, I think something bad is going to happen. Why? Because leaders at this time are talking at each other. People are not sitting down, appearing even, to be working, co-creating a situation where we all win in this election. Mr. Chairman, I agree with uh, Senator Mulkomen that you are the referee here. And what is required, I believe, in this situation, and I speak for my candidate, is not a technical solution here, but a leadership solution. We need for the IEBC to give Kenya's the assurance. It's a Solomonic moment. I heard somebody using that term earlier. A moment where we need to, to realize that we, we have to do something that is not going to make us look back and say, I wish when we had that chance, we did not do it. So let's climb over these technical arguments and allow IEBC, if, if you would even consider that this meeting is not going to lower the temperatures in the country, this is actually probably going to even raise them further, that we may need to consider what forum or what approach you might need to take to lower the temperatures. The issue in the country now is not about technical legal issues, it's about trust. We don't trust each other, we don't trust the institutions, and people are looking at each other, already beginning to say, you're the bad guys, and so on and so forth. So Chair, that submission is just to say, let's deal with the real issue here, which is trust, not whether you should go single sourcing or, or whether um, the constitution should be amended to, to allow for a different date and so on. Thank you very much. Um, you want to say a bit more? We want to go around to those who have not spoken first. The NASA team, you have something to say, or you need a background? Uh, this is um, a purely consultative meeting um, arising out of the uh, judgment of the High Court on Friday uh, last week. In that judgment, and I think uh, some representatives and candidates say we repeat in brief what happened, but uh, um, one question that was framed by the court was, was the IBC constitutionally obligated to facilitate public participation as part of the tender process for the printing of election materials and ballot papers for presidential elections? And the court went ahead to make a finding that uh, IBC did not do enough to, uh, as regards public participation and uh, struck out the tender as far as presidential ballot papers is concerned. So that's the scenario we are coming from. As a commission, we are faced with a situation where we have to start tendering for ballot papers for presidential afresh. We have 28 days to the election. Um, we have, uh, going by the timelines, even if it's direct tendering, we shall have challenge of time. And uh, of course, Kenya being what it is, uh, we may have a situation where we start afresh and then somebody else goes to court again and, uh, and so forth. So we, that's the main challenge we have as a commission. And as I, st as I said in the beginning, as a commission, we read with all the other processes as, re as regards uh, giving Kenyans an election on the 8th of August. This is the only challenge we have at the moment. And, and so, uh, having said that, I think um, there have been representations from various speakers on the issue. I, I, I don't want to go in details of that, but this is purely a consultative forum, is to, to engage. You are the presidential candidates. We, we share ideas without saying or compromising our independence as a commission. We, we started off by saying we, we, are, we have an open door policy, we, we are ready to engage any time, and we have done so. Uh, just to say that on the 24th of May, is a matter which was in the affidavits, uh, we met the Jubilee Party, the ruling party, we met the opposition party, the, that is uh, uh, the NASA team, uh, Dr. Kurokot, you had not we had not cleared you to stand. We didn't know whether you were going to present your papers as at that time. Uh, yes, but I'm saying that there are two parties we met. 
the parties in government and the one official in opposition in parliament. And that's what informed that meeting. But going forward, I agree with you. We invited you to the meeting in uh, Intercon. You came. We have invited you here. You have come. And I look forward to having many more meetings and engagements before the general election. Uh, just to point out that uh, going forward, uh, also I think uh, this country is for all of us. We should never be too busy to attend meetings called by the commission. And I just want to comment on Honda Pondwale, and I see the NASA team here. Going forward, when you invite presidential candidates, please tell the candidates to attend the meetings. It's, it's, it's good for the country. It's good to cool down temperatures, as somebody uh, said in this meeting. So having said that, I think I'll put you, uh, Senator Orenga, and the ones who came uh, in a bit late. And uh, we, we, if you are ready, ready to say anything, you please proceed. If not, I will allow uh, yes. some other comments from the floor. And I think, uh, Dr. Okot, you came up with some suggestion. I think it's, uh, it needs to be, maybe you'll have to summarize for the, 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 the Senate and uh, Orenga and the others team from NASA. Maybe they may want to hear that uh, as, as well, yeah. Yes. And uh, maybe before that, uh, I, I stand to be corrected, yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay, so, uh, Dr. Okot, just hold it. Uh, we have others who have not spoken. Uh, we have uh, so chair, just a presidential candidate. We have uh, and others here. Yeah. Respectively, Chair, I see uh, Dr. Ikuru can summarize his position maybe later, because we are not summarizing what you 